Yo, what's up? It's Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, we're gonna talk all about conditional drill in Power BI. Stay tuned. Okay, so if you're finding this for the very first time, if this is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, please hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on both on videos from both Adam and myself. All right, conditional drill. What do you guys think? Have you used it? Have you taken a look at it? Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk all about it. And if you stay tuned all the way to the end, I'm gonna show you how to combine conditional drill with conditional page navigation into one nice tight solution. All right, but you gotta stay tuned to the end. Okay, so in this video, I'm talking about the art of the possible. There's so many things you can do with conditional drill and all the conditional capabilities in Power BI. In fact, I called Adam before I did this video. And I was like, dude, oh my God, there's so many things I can do with this, okay? But you guys know what I like to do. Instead of all this talking, instead of all this talking, let me show you, let's head over to my laptop. Okay, so everybody's familiar with drill. You could set up drill um, really easy. You create your base report and then you go to the report that you wanna drill to and you drag the column over into the drill dwell that you want to drill to. So I've, I've been drilling a couple of times. We'll get rid of some things, but it's just my customer name, right? So you drag that over there and then you go back to the initial report. And if I right click here, you'll see where it says drill through two. If I hover, you'll even see where it says right click to drill through. And I've set up drill on this one too. And you can see where it says right click to drill through. So if I right click, you can do it, okay? Now, that's cool and that's great, but what if I wanna add a little context? What if I want my user to do, do specific things before they actually drill? How do you do it? What if I wanna control where they drill to, right? What if I wanna say, hey, if you choose this one, go here. If you choose that one, go here, right? I wanna control all this stuff. And that's what you can do with the conditional drill. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to configure in this video. So let's head back to my laptop. Imagine we got this requirement. We received the requirement that said to drill through, we want our report consumers to select country and customer, okay? We want them to do that. So to set this up, the first thing you wanna do is go to insert, and we're gonna insert a button. Let's choose the blank button. Let's just go here, and we're gonna choose the blank button. So we choose a blank button, and we'll bring that down here, okay? And for now, we're just gonna type some basic text in here. So we're gonna turn our button text on, and we're gonna say for the default state. So when they choose something, we're gonna drill. So then we're gonna click here, and we're gonna go to, to set up this conditional drill, you go to action, you toggle action on, make sure that button is selected, expand out action, and on in the type, in the drop down label type, select drill through. And then you can see how it automatically disables. I'm gonna go ahead and hard code my destination to customer details. Customer details has a drill requirement. I must select the customer name. And so if we go back to my basic drill page, if I choose a customer name, notice how drill activates, right? Because it's all linked up now, right? So when I choose a customer from that bar chart, it's telling the button because I configured the button for drill through for that page and it know it, it requires a customer. So it enables it. If I, if I don't click it, it disables it. It's great, right? It just works. So back to my laptop. And so same thing, right? If I go over to, if I click the button and I head back to action and I choose country details, I specified the country as my drill through column. So if I select it, you can see how it, it activates up. And if I click this button, it'll drill to that page, which is great, right? This is great. But I have a, a more specific requirement. I need the users to select both a country and a customer. And I don't know if you were paying attention, but right next to that little page where you choose the page you want to drill through, there was a little conditional button. You should, if you were paying attention, you may have saw it. And so I'm going to show you how to configure that back to my laptop. Okay. So to get this set up, you need to write a little DAX. And so I've created two measures, one for my text and one for my drill. You may be like, Patrick, what's those? Where well, you got to stay through, say, what's the ones with the width page where well, you got to stay tuned to the end to see those, okay? So let's let's look at the drill navigation first. Let's look at the drill navigation. So we're gonna go ahead and click that one. Let's, let's look at this DAX. So what you'll see is what I'm doing is I'm saying I'm using the and uh, function and I'm saying if both of these, right? If this and this has one filter, if my country, and my customer name has one filter, have one filter, 
return customer details. So this, I'm going to tell it which page I want to drill to. If, if both of them don't have it, then just return a blank, just return a blank. Okay. So watch how this is going to work. I'm going to head back. I'm going to click on my button. I'm going to head back to my action. Instead of hard coding country details, I'm going to click the little function button here. It's going to open up a little window for me. I'm going to accept fill value. And then I'm going to go and choose under navigation, my drill do my drill navigation and click OK. Right. So now watch this. See how it's disabled. I'm going to choose Australia. Nothing. I'm going to choose Andres Raji N over here. Nothing. Right. But if I select both, if I click Australia, it's going to show my top five. Hold down control and click Melinda. You'll see how it enables. And then I'm going to drill through. So if I drill through, it's going to take me to my customer details page, right? Because that's where I told it to go. That's pretty nice. But there's one step missing. What I'd like to also do is control the text in this button, because when I select it, I want to give the user kind of an indication. Hey, you're about to drill through for this country and this customer. So let's let me let me show you the DAX I wrote for this. Right. And so if we go and take a look at the DAX for the drill button text, you see it's a little more involved. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a variable and I'm capturing. I'm saying, hey, are both of these filtered? If both of these are filtered, return a true. And then I'm grabbing the selected customer and the selected country. I'm doing this. I'm doing a lot of typing just so you can understand how this works. Right. You might come up with some other efficiencies, but this is just to explicitly show you how all this works. And then I use a switch function, I say, and you could have used an if, but I'm anticipating more conditions, so I use a switch. So I say switch true, if everything is filtered, build out the string, right? Click here to see the sales for the selected customer and the selected country. If not, say tell them please select a country to drill. So what I'm gonna do is go back to my button text, and instead of hard coding, I'm gonna click on my little conditional button, and this time, I'm going to go over and choose drill button text and click OK. Right. And now you can see it says, please select customer and country to drill. So if I choose, let's choose France, parlez vous Francais and Rosa. And now you can see, right, it's saying click here to see sales for Rosa who in France. Right. It's great. It just works. I love it. It's bananas. I'm so excited. I'm perspiring a little bit. I'm getting a little hot and bothered because this is so nice and it just works. But Patrick, you told me if I watch this all the way to the end, you would show me how to combine conditional drill with conditional page navigation. Of course, I didn't forget about you. I'm going to show you. OK, so let's head back to my laptop so I can show you. So that's cool. And it works right. If I click it, it takes me to that page. It takes me to the customer details page. But what I'd like to do is what I would really like to do is control which page I went to. Maybe I want to go to customer details. Maybe I want to go to country details. Can we do that, Patrick? Of course you can. You just got to modify your DAX. Check this out. So I kind of went through some work over here and I built this out. So I set up a, uh, a single select slicer that shows both of the pages that I can navigate to. And so you can set this up as a horizontal slice. You can do this lots of ways. For the sake of this video, for explanation reasons, I did it this way because it just provides a little more clarity, okay? And so what I'd like is when a user selects a country and a customer and a page, this button should enable, okay? So watch, I modify both the text and the navigation to accommodate that. So let's take a look at the drill button text. So we're going to click on the drill button text. And what you'll see in the drill button text is not only am I checking for has one filter on the customer in the country, but I'm also checking for it on the page. OK, if all those conditions are met, return a true. Otherwise, return a false. Again, I select that I get the selected customer and the selected country and then I build it out. Pretty similar, just a slight modification to the uh, logic to determine if I'm going to uh, display how I'm going to display the text. And then I head over to the drill navigation with page, right? Uh, just the drill navigation. What I do here, instead of hard coding the page, I grab the selected page. I check if both my country and my name is filtered. And then I 
return that page. Otherwise, I don't return anything, okay? So check this out, watch how this works. If I select United States, and then I choose Terrence, all right, it, it enables. And it's enabled because I have this, this little slicer here. If I get rid of this slicer, watch, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm just gonna cut this off the page. Look how it disables. It's because that's part of my DAX logic, okay? If I undo it and put it back, it enables again, and I can choose whichever page I want. I know, I know, I need to update my logic a little bit because I'm only drilling, right? If I choose country details, I'm only drilling down for that country and not the person. But you can you can just think about, just think about what's possible with all this. I'm gonna show you one more thing. Just hang on, I'm gonna show you one more thing that's pretty cool. So if I click this button, what will be nice is when this is disabled, I wanna tell them, please select a country and a customer in a country. And you know how you can do that? If you go to action, I use the same logic for my disabled tool tip. And so what you can do is if you click on the, if I'm gonna erase this so I can take you through these steps. So right now, if I hover, right, I get, I get nothing. But if I go and set it up, I'm just gonna use my drill through text. I'm just gonna use my drill through text here. So what I'm gonna do is go to internet sales, navigation, I'm gonna use my drill button text with page, click okay, and now, right, if I hover, I'll get a nice little message saying, hey, you need to select some stuff before you can drill. So if I choose both my, my items here, my country and my uh, customer, and I hover, it'll, it doesn't give me anything, because I didn't set the drill tool up for enable, but I did set it up for disable, now I can drill. If I click away, you'll see I get my, my drill tool text. This is great, insane, amazing. You need to think about performance. The more conditional formatting you do, the more conditional drill, the more conditional page, all that stuff you do, it can definitely affect your performance. Let me show you how to check for it using Performance Analyzer. If I go to View, Internal Performance Analyzer, and then I click somewhere, right? I'm gonna clear this out, and I'm gonna click. And you'll note it, wait, let me start recording. Ha <laughs> ha, let me start recording. And then I'll click an item, in the country bar chart and you'll see button, right? If I click in the other bar chart, the customer one, you're gonna see button. If you go here and just copy this and let's open up a quick notepad, just a quick notepad, it'll be quick to open up notepad. You'll see that Power BI has to generate, has to evaluate some DAX, right? It's evaluating both of those measures that I created um, before it can determine if the button should be disabled or enabled or what to display or what to navigate, all right? So you need to consider this when you're setting up all these fancy conditional drills and page navigations and things like that, all right? What do you guys think? Have you used this? Have you tested this out? Have you kicked the tires on it? I'd love to know. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.